Hello and welcome to Make Music Free, the channel that teaches you how to make music. Um, today we're going to be looking at the toolbars in the top section of um, FL Studio when you load it up. And I'm just going to quickly run through it and why they're useful and like stuff like that. Okay, So um, if you look up here, um, you can see that there's a timer here. So when you play stuff, um, it'll, it'll tell you how long the song is. Um, you can also change it so it does it by beat, but generally, um, so you do step or beat, um, that's the seconds. Um, generally, I'll just keep it seconds because I don't really think that the beats are useful because in the uh, play in the playlist, it's got it all there, so you don't need to worry about that. Um, okay, so let's look at this. This is the tempo. Now, if you don't know what tempo is, if you've never been to a music lesson in your life, tempo is just, uh, it's just how many beats uh, per minute. Uh, the song is at. So generally, I'll give you an indication. Drum and bass music is at about 170 beats per minute. Um, most pop music is at about, depending on like 110 to 130 on average. Drum dubstep's at like 140, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, that's that's like essentially what that is. Um, these is like your peak, your peak meter and your monitor. So you should be able to see um, audio that comes in that and that will just be up there. It will also show you like how much RAM you're using so you can see now I'm not using very much because I'm not doing very much so that's good. Um, there's a few other things. These little, This little bar here is quite, is quite untouched but it's quite useful. Here's the metronome and the, um, the, the, shot, the hot key for that is uh, control M and that's just there. Uh, you can have a listen to that. It always does this man. Okay so so that'll tap out the beat for you if you uh, can't tap the beat in yourself, which most people can't. Um, go away. Okay, so um, yeah. Uh, there's also these few things. Um, loop recording, blend recording. So that's going to overdub stuff. So what that means is like when you play inputs in, it's just going to keep on over, over, over going over the top of it. So that's kind of like a loop. A loop thing in a way. Um, so if you combine that with um, with these two things, these three things, you can make it loop. Um, so you can kind of have your own sort of like loop machine if you've got an input thing, which is quite cool. Um, but that's a little bit another setup, quite a difficult setup. So I need to sort that out and, and do a video for you. Uh, this is countdown before recording. So um, if you press that, when you press this record button, you'll get this sort of thing up. This is like if you want to record, um, I don't know, anything MIDI or if you want to like, if you've got a microphone or whatever. I don't really recommend FL Studio for doing vocals um, or like audio because it's a little bit, a little bit math and a little bit problematic. But you can do it if you want to do it. This is all here, and we'll do a video on how to record in FL Studio as well. Um, oh, you can see that like, things are starting to happen here. Um, what else is there? So this, this is all. We're going through all of these things individually. Um and yeah, that's essentially that's essentially most of it. It's just a few little things that you can do, so like project information. So if you want to, um, I don't know, make sure an author a little bit of data, you know, tell the world about whatever you can put the genre in, you can do whatever you want. This is quite it's quite useful. Um, that's like sort of like metadata. So on the actual file itself, it'll have some information. Um. These two things here tell you uh, if there's MIDI coming in, and uh, the imp you'll be able to see it if you've got yourself a little MIDI keyboard. You'll be able to see it glowing, and um, that's useful. So that is basically the uh, toolbar section.